on importing your your floor plan into the into the product structure software then the next thing to do is to after now you can see your columns already placed uh, arrangement from AutoCAD now once you're done with that the next thing we'll be doing right now is to place our beams so I'll quickly click on beam and then I'll set my beam I want to use a beam of 2 5 by 450 depth 5mm by 450mm and then I will click this point and drag it to this end have a beam all there this is our first beam the next again I'll click now I'll click again have a beam running towards the axis and then let me see we will have to put a column at this point we missed it we put a column at this point we missed it so we will need a column to be at this end so I'll just escape I'll click on escape and place a column at this point we need a column here column of 225 by 225 I'll place a column here then come back to our beam and continue this is a practical based um, lesson because this is a this is a social um, design that I'm doing for a client so this is a practical base it's not just a lesson it's a practical base so our advice you just take it serious I'll quickly put place all my beams I'll just place my beams try it here then I'll begin to place my internal beams I want this beam to run this end and then this end and then this end so now we don't have this as one panel it's a panel so next i'll place again the beam around the staircase area i'll continue again okay continue again i'll be a little bit fast so so that we can be able to meet up time Okay. Last I have here. Last I have here. Last I have here. This beam is not properly placed. I think. Yes, it's not properly placed. I think it's placed at eccentricity of 50 which is meant to be zero meant to be zero but you can see it here it's not really flushing alongside with this beam and as you can see like i said this is a practical base so this design is, is for a client so i just said let me let me use this to create a video a lesson video so that it can be beneficial for everyone Okay, let me see. I want the beam to run like this. Okay, to flush here. So I'll just go back and flush my beam here. Then I don't want any beam around here again. I want here to be a panel. Okay. So now I want the beam to differentiate 
this staircase and this place is to be for a landing for me so i'll just put a beam across differentiate that and place a beam here or i'll come further this way and place a beam around this area if i place a beam around here with my beam, anyone is climbing this step this this staircase so i'll place the beam around here so i'll go back and place the beam around this area and then so this is my staircase hall right now then what again um do i have anything again here to do okay i have okay okay let me come to this area go this way right now I'll go this way right now okay let me see what's happening here Happening there. Okay, I have my now my beams are, are properly placed. The next thing I want to do is to insert my slabs. So I'll quickly click on the slab icon and set my slab thickness as 150 millimeter, my uh, slab concrete cover as 25 using the slab depth as or thickness as 150. Then slab load. Dead load, I will input my dead load to be 1.5. What kind of building I'm designing for? We are doing a structural design for a domestic building. So I'll quickly choose a general domestic use. And then I will begin to insert my slab by clicking on the on the panels so i'll click on each panels to insert my slab okay by the time we are done now you can see we have inserted our slab all our slabs are already inserted I'm very careful because, like I said, this is a practical based learning, and this design is a practical based design that we are doing. So, we will have to check properly to, to check if everything is intact. This beam is not okay, it's at a density of 50, I think so, 55, so it should be at zero. Okay, now it's not flushing. Okay, then um, we go again. 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 Now we have inserted our beams and our um, slab. So the next thing now, this next thing now is to insert cantilever slabs. When I contacted the the clients, we have a cantilever slab right here at this region. So is to insert a cantilever slab with because the there is there is difference in size between the ground floor and the first floor. So that is why we have these cantilevers around this area. So we will need to insert a cantilever slab on the total structure. 